self-improvement has exploded in popularity and they all target one single audience, young teenage males. However, with so many good and bad self-improvement gurus out there, it could be quite difficult to figure out who to follow. This is why in this video, I'll be ranking the seven different types of teenagers on self-improvement on the tier list to teach you what to avoid and what to embrace. This isn't just another tier list. We are going so much deeper than just simple habits and books. Self-improvement is so much more than that. And let's be real, you deserve to know the truth. In F tier, I have two types of teenagers you must absolutely avoid being like. The first one I'd like to discuss is the degenerate. The word degenerate is literally defined as an immoral or corrupt person. They do horrendous things and are the type of people to say stuff like this. More vlogs and they didn't like it too much, but I think a guy <laughs> needs to be 35 years old, had sex with 50 girls, making... They promote immoral and corrupt values that not only hurt others, but ultimately themselves. They do drugs, they smoke, they vape, they do terrible things, yet they believe that they're on the road to becoming a millionaire. And it's all thanks to this guy. The Andrew Tate, my Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate. Second teenager in F tier is the Tate wannabe. This guy is completely obsessed over Andrew Tate, wants to be everything like him. And this is terrible news for that teenager. Now look, there's nothing wrong with being rich, and obviously there are good and bad parts of a person. First, I'd like to explain the good parts of Andrew Tate. He tells you to take control over your life, he tells you to work hard, earn money, and overall, you can change and you can be in control of your own life. I think this is great advice, but I do think he's also a net negative, and here is why. Because just because a man says 10% truth does not negate the 90% falsehood that he spreads, the degeneracy that he spreads. He tells you to make money, but also exploited others in his potential webcam business. He tells you to get fit only to use your new physique to ruin and exploit others. And worst of all, he's godless. Now, I know that he converted to Islam very recently, but chances are he might have only done it for publicity reasons. Plus, even with this conversion, you can't underline the terrible things that he might have done in the past. This is why so many degenerates believe that they're on the path to becoming a millionaire because of this man. But he's an imposter and if you don't realize it anytime soon, sooner or later, you're going to become just like him. Now in D tier, we have a category that applies to over 62% of teenage males. And this is the anime weep. This guy is obsessed over anime. And let's be real, this was me as well. I would spend hours watching your favorite anime shows, Naruto, One Piece, Demon Slayer. No matter what it was, I loved anime. I loved the story. I loved the plot. But now I realize it was a huge waste of time. Anime is everywhere on social media, even on some of my own videos. But if you are obsessed over anime, you aren't doing anything to contribute to your own life. When I spent hours and days watching Naruto, I could relate because I was fat. I was suffering as well. And watching Naruto overcome his adversities was so inspiring. But did it help me lose weight? Did it help me go to the gym, develop confidence to develop social skills no it did not it was a huge waste of time yes it is inspirational watching goku turn super saiyan for the very first time but unless you use that motivation that inspiration and put it and implement it into your own life you aren't going any further than e tier and ironically this is the same issue the teenager in c tier has now in c tier we have the teenager that is obsessed over self-improvement content However, we lack one crucial aspect all the other teenagers in the upper ranks have, taking action. See, taking action is so crucial and if you don't do it, it's a huge waste of potential. This teenager absorbs all the information. They know how to dropship, they know how to work out, they know all the self-improvement essentials, meditating, journaling, whatever it is, but they fail to take action. The simple act of taking action can actually take you all the way from C tier to A or E even S tier. So stay tuned because you want to learn how to become just like the teenager in S tier. But before S tier, we need to talk about A and B tier. These phases are the phases that 
I personally think you need to go through in order to reach the S tier teenager. I personally went through these phases myself, and I can say from experience, they are absolutely necessary for your growth and development as a teenager. Now in B tier, let's start with the simple action of taking action. And what better way to begin your self-improvement journey than with fitness? See, in Beecher, we have the gym rat, someone who only thinks about getting stronger, someone who only thinks about progressing in weight, no matter if it's the bench press, the pull-up, no matter what it is, they want to do more reps, they want to run more, they want to lift more plates. And this person is exactly who I was two years ago. In 2022, all I thought about was losing weight. All I thought about was progressing, doing more pull-ups, doing more push-ups. Exercise is not just about getting bigger biceps, it is developing discipline, dedication, aspiration, and a pathway to success. This is why so many self-improvement gurus all began their journey with fitness. Take Iman Gadzi for example. But the only problem with the gym rat and it's why they're not an A or S tier is because life isn't just about fitness. Life is so much more than that. What about your grades? What about your finances? What about your social life? There's so much more to life than just fitness. And if you stay in the stage of gym rat for too long, you're gonna become the lamest and most dull person ever. But wait a minute, let's go back to C tier. Because remember when I talked about the person who watches self-improvement content, but doesn't take action? Now what if he did take action? Now this raises your rank from C tier all the way to A tier. Because in A tier, we have the teenager who watches self-improvement content, but also takes action. This simple act of taking action can really change your life forever. And this is what separates you from 99% of your peers. I have a whole video and in-depth guide of how you can get ahead of 99% of your friends and peers in high school. So click on the video right there on the corner. Anyone can watch a motivational speech. Anyone can watch David Goggins, but not everyone can take the advice from the motivational speech and apply it to their own lives. Let's say if I told you to go to the gym, person A would just scroll to the next self-improvement video. Person B would sign up for a gym membership right there and then. Implementing years of wisdom from your said influencer can really change your life forever. However, there is a dark side to this step. You see, so many self-improvement influencers are evil scammers out there. Take Andrew Tate for example. He seems like a cool guy. He seems like a positive father figure and positive male role model for young men. However, there are several reports saying that he's bad and I personally think He's a net negative. So if you listen to the wrong self-improvement influencer, you are going to fall behind and you're going to struggle in life. What happens if you never had to worry about this? What would happen if the person you'd listen to was always right, was always righteous, was always virtuous, gave traditional and moral values that are a net positive? Well, my friend, this is what allows person A to break into S tier. Because in S tier, we have the teenager who stands above all. He is the honored one, and he is the one who will lead this world from do. Of course, I'm talking about the virtuous teenager. No matter what religion, this teenager follows moral and traditional values. They pray, they have a connection to their God or creator. And most importantly, they can recognize good from evil. They can recognize that Andrew Tate is a net negative and corrupt because we are all flawed. We all have good and bad intentions. And recognizing the good and the bad and only following the good allows this teenager to reign supreme above all other teenagers. They avoid drugs and alcohol. They work ambitiously towards their goals. They respect women and they understand that self-improvement is not just about strength, not just about money, not just about women. They understand that self-improvement is so much more than that. By following moral and traditional values and rejecting degeneracy, you can become just like the virtuous teenager. The virtuous teenager also demonstrates unshakable confidence and is incredibly ambitious, which conveniently, I have videos about both of those topics. So click right here if you want to learn how to be more confident. Click right here if you want to become incredibly ambitious. Please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. Bye.